unlock math foundations. And the point of this program was to come up with a curriculum that would help students who are behind for whatever reason. Um, they may be struggling, they might have some learning disabilities, they might have some challenges. And so the developers of this program decided, let's go ahead and do something kind of like a fast track program where you could put kids in, even if they're in sixth through ninth grade, and they can get caught up in some of these math skills that they seem to be struggling with or they're not quite sure about. And uh, I love the way this program is set up. So let's just go ahead and scroll down here a little bit and see what they've got to offer on this page. And then I'm going to show you several other screens of different things with the program. I'm actually going to give you a sneak peek into the actual lessons, let you watch part of a lesson um, and critique some of it as we're going so that you can see some of the real good things that are going on with this program. I actually didn't find very many things that I had an issue with. I thought this has been very well laid out and an excellent curriculum. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So it's a step-by-step -step instruction. It's interactive with the student can go back and forth. There's unlimited practice. Practice. There's continual review, which is very important. So they might get lesson one and then in lesson five, they'll get a, a question or two on their cumulative review that gives them review of lesson one. So they're constantly seeing these skills and then you know for sure with kids who struggle with disabilities, they need to see something more and more and more, but they can't do it constantly all the time for one day for 24 hours, they get really frustrated. So the way this program is set up, they just see a problem like once a week as they're working their way through this or once every couple of days. So that they're not frustrated with constantly seeing the same problem all the time, but they are getting the review over a period of time. So it keeps building the review, which is fantastic. <clears throat> It also offers immediate feedback. There's lots of solutions. Um, and there's a solution after every question and it's automatically graded. And then I went ahead and put their live chat to the test as well and was checking with their live chat people. They jump in right away and they answer your questions right away um, with that. So what does Unlock Foundations offer? I'm just going to show you this fairly quickly. You can go look at the website. You can see it up here, Unlock math.com um, and look for math foundations. It's just what happens as you start with a warm up, then they have a video lesson, then they have a practice, then they have some review questions and there's only 10. So this is not this long drawn out process where your kid is having to spend a lot of time doing review questions. Uh, gives them 10 practice questions and then they have a little challenge question that doesn't count against them, but it's a bonus on their grading. Um, and then they have quizzes and reviews and tests. And like I said, you get the automatic grading and the online chat. So you can sign up for this. And they also have 100% money back guarantee. They let you do a 14 day trial period with their program. So let's just jump right into more of the program here. So first of all, you come in, you sign in, you register. And um, if you have children, however many children you have in there, you can add them in as the parent. And um, then you pick what subscription you want and you can pick either a monthly, you, you start with a trial if you want to, and that's 14 days. Then you've got a monthly subscription that's only $49 and then an annual subscription that's um, $299. So you pick that. Now they have a, a family plan where if you have more than one child in the family, then with each subsequent child, it's half off. So they've made it so that it's more uh, cost effective. Now they'll keep this program going. So if you run the trial for a little bit and then you've got to wait to be able to pay this to start, they'll keep your information until you can come up with the money to pay for it. And the other thing I like is you can do this program for three months. And then if you have to take a break and go do something else, then you come back. They keep your material for you. So you can uh, jump right back in where you were and pay to start back up again. So you can come in and out with that. And so far they don't have a limit on how long they'll keep the material. And to the Unlock Foundations and what happens is it pulls up a screen like this and it lets you do a tour. So if I click on this next button, it tells me at every level what I do. So it takes me through every little thing that I need to find out how to use it. So if I click next, it's going to take you to the next thing, it explains every little thing that's going on with the program. So it's really teaches you as the parent exactly how to set it up, how to set your calendars, all those kinds of things. You can obviously figure that out as you go. So we're going to move on to the next screen here. So then they have an assessment guide where you get into the tests and you can have several different kinds of tests. 
You can have just a basic question like this, and then you can review the concepts, or you may have multiple choice questions. Again, you can review the concepts, but it gives you the options. Um, you have fill in the blank where they have to, sometimes you fill in the blank by doing a drop down menu. So that was an interesting thing. You might have to teach your student how to do that piece. That might not be intuitive for some of your kids with disabilities. Um, some of them, you do little drop downs like this, where you have to figure them out one at a time. And those ones, to be honest with you, for a student with, with disabilities, this might be a little bit frustrating because you got to be careful which one you pick. Um, so that might be something you might want to watch as a parent if a student seems to be getting questions wrong. Maybe go back and see the, the question style and see if they're having a problem with that. Then text entry, where you actually type in an answer in a block like this. You've got that option. Then you might have some where you have to put the number in one slot and then you have to put the units in a separate slot. And again, so those are kinds of things if you've got a student who struggles with making sure they fill in every part of something, there might be one or two with these kinds of things, but they don't seem to be as complicated as some. I think once you've taught or watched him do a couple, two or three of these or her, they should be able to handle that. <clears throat> um, then you have some where it only accepts one particular answer or one number as an answer in here. Um, and then some, actually, if you get into more complicated programs, which we're not going to get into, shows you how to put a formula in and those kinds of things. And we're not going to worry about that too much because that's in the pre-algebra. So I just gave you a sneak peek on the pre-algebra already. Um, okay, so once you get into the actual program, this is the Unlock Foundations program. They have number sense, <clears throat> all the different options with lessons here. They have operations with numbers, they have division, they have integers. So I thought I would just jump into one of these integers lessons and let you see a sneak peek. These lessons can last anywhere from um, four to 10 minutes, a little lecture lesson. Now, when you first go into the program, it says that sometimes the lessons might take up to two or three minutes to load. I haven't experienced that problem at all. <clears throat> it's, everything I've clicked on has loaded at least within 10, sometimes up to 30 seconds, but most of the time it's it's loading pretty quickly. So I did get that warning sign when I first popped in. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at this lesson because it's a short one. Integers on number line. Let me talk about a couple things that are nice about this. So you're listening to the lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about integers on a number line. Now, the easiest way to visualize integers is actually on a number line. So on this particular number line... Okay, so you can see there's lots of visuals there, but here's something else I want you to notice. Say you're feeling like she's talking too fast for your child, and your child wants to slow it down. They have a setting in this program that lets you come in here, and you can click this back to... This, a, a slower rate, you can go all the way back to, and some kids need it slowed right down. So let me give you the example of what happens when you do that. I we can see that it has no negatives. And each tick mark represents a number. This arrow means uh, that the numbers continue e increasing in that direction. But what if we extend you see a question like this and you've got a little click here saying if you want to review the concept if it doesn't make sense to you the one thing i don't like about this program but if you have a child who needs this um uh, your computer may have an app on it that allows text to speak or speaks to text and if you have that and you want to test it on this program and let the developer know he'll be really happy. This is one of those things they're still in testing phase to try to develop this text to speak and speak to text uh, program with this. But if you've got a program that will do that automatically, he would love to hear about it. His name is Matt. So go ahead and contact the, the programmer if, if you've got a child or if you've got a, an app that will allow your computer to do this. He would love to know that so he can tell other parents who ask. Um, <clears throat> So what number is shown on this number line? And it's negative two, so they would need to put this in here and you'd have to make sure that they understood how to find the negative symbol on their computer. Now, once they do that, you click verify and it will show you 
that you got the right answer or the wrong answer. So I'm going to go to the next one so you can see how it happens here. What number is shown on this number line? I'm going to put five and click verify, and it's going to show that it's an incorrect response. Um, then we go to the next one, and it says place the number below on the number line. The number line is the bold horizontal line through the graph. You can click and drag and point however you want to. So they're asking you to put the number seven on the number line. So if we grab this and go here and point, then it puts the dot on the number line for us. So we can click verify and that is not correct. So then it comes down and shows us that we should have gone horizontally instead of vertically. They wanted it, the number line going that way instead of up and down. So there's some things with the program where it verifies. Then you click next. And we want to place a negative eight on the number line. So now we know from the last question that we did it wrong. So this time we come here and we click here and then we click verify. And we are correct. We've got a check mark there. Okay, so then we click next. Now here's one of the problems with the program that you might want to watch. This doesn't catch if your child's just in a hurry and they happen to click on the line, you click next again. It's going to take them to the next question, but you noticed I didn't answer anything there. So there's some things that you're going to need to watch with your child as they're going through. Once the assignment's done, you get a final grade. You click view the details down here. And when you do, then it shows you every single one of these questions that your child did, what the question was, what the answer he did, and what the answer should have been for every single question. So you get that instant feedback. And the real nice thing is you can also print it right here. You click on print. This will print this sheet for you and you've got it to review and go over with him again if there's a question with the concept. So that's just another fantastic thing about this program. See major issues with this other than the fact that if you've got students who need help with the reading, they would definitely need some help with that. But other than that, this is completely organized. It's well thought out. It's got everything you need as a parent. You can put your child down and with some in initial practice, you can get out your child already knew certain skills. You could actually go in here. This program doesn't have a pretest to it. I wish it did, but it doesn't. It doesn't have a pretest, but you can go down to the test review when you first start into the program and click on this review button and have your child go down through the review without doing any work. Tell them not to click on the review at all here first. Just get them to take this test review. It doesn't count against their grade. And when they come back in later, different numbers and different questions will pop up in the test review. Uh, but what this will do is it lets you know what they do know ahead of time. So once they've gone through this test review, you can take them back and say, okay, you did really well on the first sections of this introducing numbers. So we don't need to do that one. Now this program doesn't automatically do it. You as the parent would have to figure that out. You could say, we don't need to practice this one. We don't need to practice this one. Let's go ahead and jump to quiz one and get your grade on that because you already know these skills based on how you did on the test review. So that's one way that you can work with this program and that's legitimate. Matt had no problem with, with you doing that with this program. You just find out ahead of time. This way you can pick as a parent, okay, they do need to spend more time here, but they already know this. So I'm not going to waste their time on this section here. So that's where you can make some wise decisions as a parent with how you work with this program, because you'll still get a quiz grade and a final test grade, but they may not need to watch every single lesson in order to do that. So you can make some choices with this program. So uh, I highly would highly rate this program. I think it's fantastic. He did say they're still working on trying to get the the auditory process is on there for kids who need to hear things read to them if they've got a reading difficulty and they know math really well. That's one disadvantage with the program where they don't have that uh, reading the problems to you option. At any point in time, you can print these downloads. Um, any one of these resources at the back here, you can print these formula sheets. They actually have the full, uh, this shows you the full scope and sequence of all the different things they teach in the pre-algebra program. So that's a freebie for you. Um, 
It also has a formula sheet that you can download and then unit helps. And um, I had another one I wanted to show you here if I can pull it up, it's not pulling up right this second. There we go, 373 page document where you can find help on any single section and have extra help and advice and counsel and understanding on a particular concept, what else they might need to know, other ways that you can teach it. So this is just a hugely helpful program. I would highly recommend it to anyone. 